When we think of penguins, the equator is not the first place we think to find them. However, there is a species of penguin that lives exclusively in the tropics, where the climate is warm and entirely different from the habitats of the larger species. Their distribution is exclusively the Galapagos Island of Charles Darwin fame, an archipelago of volcanic islands distributed on either side of the equator in the Pacific Ocean, some 563 miles west of continental Ecuador. Cool, huh? I mean, um, warm. Anyway, this is Animal Facts. Let's get started. If you'd like to know more fascinating facts about the many critters we share this planet with, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Number 10. Galapagos penguins are the smallest of the banded penguins and the third smallest of all 17 penguin species. Among all banded penguins, which includes African, Humboldt, and Magellanic species, the Galapagos penguin is the easiest to recognize because they have black feathers on most of their body with some distinctive white marks on their face, beak, and chest. Number 9 Galapagos penguins are a sedentary species to stay near the colony and only venture as far as three miles away. They live in relatively small communities compared to other penguin species, but they are well organized and coordinated to hunt in groups. Number 8 Before they breed, the Galapagos penguins molt and they may do this twice a year. While the Galapagos penguins are molting, they usually stay out of the water. They are able to go out to sea for food rather than starve though, since the water is so warm in their area. Since they molt right before breeding, Galapagos penguins are able to ensure that they will not starve during the molting process. Number 7 The warm climate and intense sun of the environment may sometimes overheat them, which they saw by opening their flippers seeking to radiate heat and get the fresh sea breeze to lower their temperature. Ocean waters around the islands keep moderate temperatures, which is also ideal to end body overheating if necessary. The birds usually walk slightly hunched to keep its bare feet in the shade to prevent sunburns. Number six. Galapagos penguins form couples that last for a lifetime. These penguins are monogamous and maintain 90% fidelity. They do not have a regular reproduction season, but it commonly occurs from April to May and from August to September. Females lay two eggs in nests built within volcanic rock cavities, and both parents help in incubating and taking care of hatchlings. Chicks leave the nest 60 days later, and they can feed themselves a few months later. Number five. Because of the Galapagos penguin's smaller size, it has many predators both in the water and on dry land. On land, the Galapagos penguin must keep an eye out for crabs, snakes, owls, and hawks, while in water they must avoid sharks, fur seals, and sea lions. The Galapagos penguin has also been severely affected by human activity around the island chain. Number 4 Galapagos penguins eat mostly small fish such as mullet and sardines. They are dependent on ocean currents to bring fish to their feeding grounds. Severe weather from El Nino caused a severe shortage of food about 20 years ago. At that time, over 70% of the Galapagos penguins died. With only 1,500 individuals spotted in the wild in 2004, the Galapagos penguin is the rarest species of penguins, a status that is often falsely attributed to the yellow-eyed penguin. Number 3 as with most penguin species, the black and white coloration is called countershading, which provides camouflage against predators. The white provides camouflage underwater for marine predators looking upwards, while the black protects against birds looking downwards. Number 2 They are not by any means the deepest diving penguins, but they can dive up to 30 meters or about 100 feet underwater. Number 1 they do well in captivity, so they are a common species seen in zoo exhibits. Many of these displays are also part of breeding programs to increase overall numbers. The goal is to eventually be able to release some of them back into the wild. There are also captivity programs for penguins with injuries. Rehabilitation and care is offered to these creatures that would otherwise die in the wild. Well there you have it, a cool little list about a warm little penguin. Subscribe if you love penguins because we've got more lists to come in. If you like this list, take a moment to hit that like button. It really helps to get this video seen. Comment your favorite animal below and we'll add it to our list of lists. If you'd like to help us create more lists, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The support really helps to keep this channel growing. And as always, catch you next time. Catch you next time.